Ron Hextall needs to do something. But if I'm being honest, he should have been gone already. Pittsburgh Penguins are probably one of the worst teams in the NHL right now since the All-Star break. And I think I know why. Obviously, Ron Hextall has not been helping this team at all. I don't know how he's been watching the performance on the ice. And like, yeah, you know what? Let's keep sticking it out. But no, this is the worst team in the Crosby, Malkin, Latang era. I don't know how. When they're getting older, they have a couple years left. The GM just sits there and does nothing. But we're going to go to depth here and see if we can help Ron Hextall and see if we can make the Penguins a playoff team in general. Because right now, they're on the outside looking in. All right, guys, I'm here on Cat Friendly. Great website for NHL, all things NHL. Make sure to check it out. Great website. But as you can see, we have a lot of UFAs and RFAs going in next season. So, yes, our cap is not the greatest right now, but we have room next season. So if we wanted to sign, if we wanted to trade for a team of Meyer, we could because we could free sign him next season because we have the money. We know Jason Zucker, my brother. I don't know if he's resigning. I'm being honestly genuine. I don't I have, I have no idea. Obviously, he's really good team should keep him but i don't know if they're gonna keep him or not so that's five that's 5.5 off the books right there teddy bluger my opinion he's gone that's 2.2 heinen he's not gonna resign he didn't he didn't get much playing time here i don't think he's gonna resign archibald he's a good player he might resign who knows what he wants to do and stuff like that okay dumlin 4.1 you're gone we have a lot of money next season obviously jari he is the ufa next season he will get the bag i think he deserves the bag Hopefully he can stay healthy because if he stays healthy, he's a very, very good player. So we do have a lot of money next season. So why not go all in, Ron Hextall? Hextall, trade your first. I don't care about the future. I'm done. Don't care about it. Crosby, Mulk, and the Tang, they're going to be retiring soon. Go all in. I don't care about those two to three years, maybe even four or five, that we absolutely suck and they're tanking. I don't care. Let's try to go all in and win a Stanley Cup with those big three again. Why not? Trade the first. Trade multiple first. I don't care. Trade the first. Trade Zucker. Trade anyone, man. Trade anyone. Trade Ty Smith. Trade P.O. Joseph, even though I don't want him. I love P.O. But trade, trade, trade. Trade for T.M. Amayo. Go, go all in on T.M. Amayo. Why not? He's young. He's a very good player. Why not go all in on him? Why not go all in? You can tr you can sign him next season. You can re-sign him next season. And look at that top six, man. This top six is unbelievable. It really is Crosby, Mulkin, Jake, Rust, Zucker, and Raquel. Very good top six, and they're performing quite on. They're performing quite well. Look at the stats here: Crosby, sixty-nine points; Gino, fifty-eight points; Getzel, fifty-one; Raquel, forty; Rust, thirty-four; and Zucker, thirty-three. All the top six are the top six in scoring on the team. Yes, that's good. We like that. But then the huge drop off is just dramatically just affecting this team. The bottom six on this team is absolutely horrendous. And I have not seen it this bad in a long, long time. And you kind of obviously Dari has not been playing, but he did just get lit up last game against the Oilers. So you never really know. But Casey Smith, I thought he was a good backup, but honestly, he has not been good at all. He's been horrible this season. And that just shows that we need a new backup because he is not the answer. So Tristan Jari, if he can stay healthy. Yes, he might be able to help this team here, but that's a big if, man. That's a big what if. Groin injuries are not, they're not fun. They just linger, you know what I mean? Especially in goaltenders, they just linger. And you just never know. One little slot across the crease, you're going to tear it again. You have no idea. So, Pittsburgh Penguins, what can Ron Hexall do? Is it, is it his time to go? Honestly, I think it is. I think it's too late. Obviously, trade deadline's in a week, but... We're not getting Patty Kane. We could have gone Tarasenko. Obviously, I don't think it would have been, it would have been a good fit anyway on the Penguins. But I think Timo Meyer would be great. Chikrin, the asking price for Chikrin is a lot. So I don't really want to give up all that, all those pieces. I don't think Chikrin is worth all those pieces. But I think Timo Meyer would be, would be a great fit in the top six. Obviously, I don't know if a top six player like Timo Meyer and risking not having chemistry with Mulkin, not having chemistry with Crosby. I don't know if that's worth the risk. I think we need defense. We need bottom six depth and a goalie. Maybe if we get like a Demko somehow, but like Jari, Demko, they're both kind of inconsistent at times. So we'll see. And they're injury prone as well. So I don't know if that's a big trade right there. Maybe Besser would be a very good uh, top six, maybe even top nine player. But Ron Hextall, man, how are, I don't know how you've been watching this games, watching the Penguins throw leads, get absolutely demolished on a whole mice, getting completely outplayed by bad teams and think, yeah, this seems good. I like where the team's at. I can't. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't take it anymore, man. I can't take it anymore. Go all in. Why aren't you going all in? You said you don't want to trade the first. 
Who cares about the first? I don't care about the prospects right now. We have Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Chris Letang. You don't have that. Not You really never have that in an NHL franchise. You don't really have those people. So why not go all in when you have the chance? And they're still putting in the points, man. They're still playing really good hockey. Like We have an opportunity here. You're doing a dishonesty to the fans, man. The fans are getting ruthless. As you can see, the last game against Edmonton, they're enchanting fire Hextall. And I, if I'm going to be honest, I have to go. I have to agree with them, man. I have to agree with them. I think it's too late. I think he's not done it. And this team, the morale's low in the locker room. Something like that. This team is not good. Penguins fans, comment down below. What what do we need to do? What do you, Who do you want to trade? Fire Hextall. Fire Sullivan, I even people are saying. But I love Soli. He's a great coach. But he's not even switching up the lines. But really, he doesn't have an opportunity to. Because like, who, who do you put in? Like, who do you put in? You mean, like, that third line is the worst line in hockey. And we're just watching it 20 games straight in a row. That is absolutely nuts, in my opinion. But we're not in the playoffs, man. We're in fourth in the wild card race here. Obviously, we do have games in hand. But right now, it's not like it's not looking like we're winning these games. It's not looking like we're winning these games. Islanders are up by four, and they have four more games than us. So obviously, we do have an advantage in that. But we still got to win those games, man. We still got to win those games. Anything can happen. And it, like, I don't know. If we don't make playoffs... It is an absolutely horrible, horrible season. Worst by far in the Crosby, Mulk, and the Tang era. And I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not enjoying it. Not enjoying it. Hextall, not happy with you right now. I'm not happy with what you're doing. But we'll see what happens. So, comment down below, guys. What do you think the Penguins need to do? Do we need to make a trade? Obviously, we need to make multiple trades, in my opinion. We need to make multiple trades. Not just one. Multiple. And we'll see what goes on there. But I think we need a change in the locker room. Change in staff, maybe. I like Soli who knows but yeah guys thank you for watching but penguins it's hard to be a penguins fan today you mean it's hard to be a penguins fan today but we're here we're here we're not gonna bandwagon we're gonna stay on the grind stay on the ride but it's hard to be a penguins fan comment down below guys thank you so much for being here much love subscribe thank you be great and see you guys later